جانم فدای هر یاریم یا علی 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 جانم فدای هر یاریم یا علی 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 Alright guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel and today we are going to some place really really special. This is called the Ramadan Sessions where every Sunday we will be visiting a new shrine in the Lahore Punjab side. Uh, we will be distributing food, uh, we will be doing some ibadat and we will go check out some uh, really really cool spots as well. And also places to eat for Sari. So let's go. This holy ground was the sole fountain for the spread of Islamic preachings and an important portal for all religious sects at the time. So how the story goes is that Imam Hussain alayhi salam had ordered Bibi Park Dhamun and the rest of her family to move towards Hindustan at the event of Karbala on the 9th of Muharram. Although Imam Hussain's life was at stake and they didn't want to leave him, out of respect for his order, they were forced to go by his holy decree. The holy shrine of Hazrat Rukaiya is the only one of its kind in South Asia. Renowned saints like Data Ganj Baksh Ali Hajwari, Lal Shabazz Kalandar, Sayyid Jalaluddin Uchvi Bukhari and Muyuddin Chishti Radiyatala are known to have found spiritual enlightenment from her sacred shrine. Just like the mysterious stories of the six graves, some other stories are also famous regarding the old trees in the courtyard. Several devotees come to visit this magical tree. Magical? Yes, you heard it right. If a female who is devoid of baby eats its leaves, will be blessed by a baby soon. These trees were said to be the camels by which these babies came but were also swallowed by the ground along with them. It is said that people knew of their arrival because all the idols fell in the temples and all the fires that signified their gods blew out. When the reason of this was investigated, people told the king it was the fault of six foreigner women who had covered their faces. King summoned Bibi Park Taman forcefully and when she resisted, he sent his army to bring them to the palace. Hearing for their respect, because no man had ever seen their faces except for their own family, they prayed to God. It is said that at that very moment, the ground opened up and took Bibi Rukaya and her five family members in. When the army arrived, they saw only their shawls sprouting from the ground, marking their grave sites today. And that, my friends, is the story of Bibi Park Taman. The cool thing about this place is that it houses the first mosque ever built in the subcontinent. I think it's pretty cool that we came here. All in all, I think this trip is an amazing uh, thing to do, uh, whether you're with your friends or you come alone, even if it's just to see the first ever mosque built in the subcontinent. Uh, the structure itself is built by Nayar Ali Dada and it is beautiful, really, really something to see. I would really, really encourage anybody who's ever thinking of coming to see this place 
to don't think twice and just come. <laughs> the lovely Haveli restaurant in the old city food street uh, and ordered and munched on some great breakfast for Suhoor. So guys, uh, I'll be going every Sunday to visit these new shrines so that you can come and see them with me. Please, if you like the video, like, share and subscribe and shout about it to all your friends. <laughs>